POV and she said she doesn't eat at Cheesecake Factory so I took her to a 5 star restaurant and she did this. This is a fine dining restaurant. This is not Applebee's. This is not Cheesecake Factory. This is none of those. But why did she do that lobster that way? Come on, bro. One, did you use your napkin? Did you put, did you put the napkin? Did you put the napkin on your lap at least? You typically do that in five-star restaurants. Now, I'm going to show you how to eat a lobster tail because how you did that lobster tail was extremely disrespectful. You need one of these. A fork. The lobster tail already is cut. So what you do is you take the fork and you pry it open with a butter knife or a knife and then you eat the meat out of the shell. You don't need to bite the tail apart. You can get the meat out with a fork. This is what happens when you take people that have never experienced fine dining to a fine dining establishment. Say, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And today we're gonna see we're gonna a non-fancy person to a fancy restaurant. Without further ado, let's roll with that clip. POV and she said she doesn't eat at Cheesecake Factory, so I took her to a five-star restaurant and she did this. Hey yo! You can't take a person that's never experienced fine dining before to a fine dining establishment and expect them to know what they're doing. They're not. And it's like I always say, you can take the person out of the environment, but you can't take that environment out of a person. This woman is eating as if she was an Olive Garden or Red Lobster. Or the Cheesecake Factory. See, as a woman, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the, the class thing down. I'm going to break this down. If you want to eat and you want to have a luxury lifestyle, there are certain things that do not fly in five-star restaurants. The slurping of the food, the eating of the lobster tail, how she reached over to the man's plate to grab his pasta with her fingers and just shoved it in her mouth. This is a woman that looks like she's a hood rat that put on a drink. Hey, yo. And I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice and give this woman the benefit of the doubt. But she looks like a hood rat that just put on a dress. 
house and demanded a five-star dining experience. And when you're in those environments, ladies, you have to understand how to act. You have to understand there is a napkin that you've got to put on your line. They have a fork. They have a salad fork. They have a soup spoon. They have a regular spoon. They have a dinner knife. They have a butter knife. They have three different plates. They have the salad bowl, the salad, the different courses. Like if you want to eat and you want to be in a luxury lifestyle, they have a different etiquette. They have a different level of sophistication that they provide to their customers. They don't want a woman in their establishment slurping down pasta like a vacuum cleaner. We act like we don't have any home training. Why do you think that woman teacher was ready to quit? Because if the parents are at a five-star restaurant slurping down noodles like they're a vacuum cleaner, eating lobster like they're a cannibal, those children are going to think it's okay. See, it all ties in with one another. You can't complain that men think you are unapproachable. And then when they take you out to a restaurant, you eat like you have no home training. You eat as if you've never had lobster before. And this is your last meal over the week. So you got to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Have some class. Have some sophistication. This woman was eating as if this was the last supper. Like, you have to sit down and you have to think about it. We have to do better as a people. Because other races of people see this and then they formulate opinions on us based on videos like this. Based on the Cheesecake Factory video. Based on the Oyster Lady video. It is time for black people to do better. We can't depend on the president of the United States to make our image better. This is why I say image means Everything. Image is how people see you when they don't even know you. So if they look at you and they see videos of black women twerking and black women don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory and black women slurping down food and black women slurping down oysters, what are they going to say about black women? If they see black men sagging pants and making rap videos and destroying the culture, what are they going to say about black men? We, as the black community, we have to control our image. We have to stop acting like we have no home training just because somebody puts their camera up and starts recording. Black people, it's time to control our image. It's time to control how other people view us. Black women and black men, we need to come together and control the image that other people see of us. And with that being said, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell. I will let you know whenever I upload content. And until the next video, peace.